God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O God of truth, prepare our minds to hear and heed your holy word. Fill every heart that longs for you with your mysterious presence, Lord. Almighty Father, with your Son and blessed Spirit, hear our prayer. Teach us to love eternal truth and seek its freedom everywhere. Lord, save me in your merciful love. Lord, do not reprove me in your anger. Punish me not in your rage. Have mercy me, Lord, I have no strength. Lord, heal me, my body is racked. My soul is racked with pain. But you, O Lord, O Lord, return, Lord, rescue my soul. Save me in your merciful love, for in death no one remembers you. From the grave who can give you praise? I am exhausted with my groaning. Every night I drench my pillow with tears. I beat you my bed with weeping. My eye wastes away with grief. I've grown old surrounded by my foes. Leave me all you do evil. For the Lord has heard my weeping. The Lord has heard my plea. The Lord will accept my prayer, or my foes will retire in confusion, foiled and suddenly confounded. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Lord, save me in your merciful love. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed in times of distress. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will recount all your wonders. I will rejoice in you and be glad and sing psalms to your name, O Most High. See how my enemies turn back, how they stumble and perish before you. You upheld the justice of my cause. You sat enthroned, judging with justice. You have checked the nations, destroyed the wicked. You have wiped their name forever and ever. The foes destroyed, eternally ruined. You have brooded their cities, their memories perished. 
but the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has said to be thrown for judgment. He will judge the world with justice. He will judge the peoples with his truth. For the oppressed, let the Lord be a stronghold, a stronghold in times of distress. Those who know your name will trust you. You will never forsake those who seek you. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed in times of distress. I will recount all your praise at the gates of the city of Zion. Sing psalms to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Proclaim his mighty works among the peoples. For the avenger of blood has remembered them. Is not forgotten the cry of the poor. Have pity on me, Lord, see my sufferings. You save me from the gates of death, that I may recount all your praise at the gates of the city of Zion, and rejoice in your saving help. The nations have fallen, the pit which they made, their feet caught in the snare they lay. The Lord has revealed himself in given judgment, the wicked are snared in the work of their own hands. Let the wicked go down among the dead, all the nations forget all of God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, nor the hopes of the poor be in vain. Arise, Lord, let men not prevail. Let the nations be judged before you. Lord, strike them with terror. Let the nations know they are but men. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. I will recount all your praise at the gates of the city of Zion. Teach me to observe your law. I will keep it with all my heart. A reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. All wisdom comes from the Lord and is with him forever. The sand of the sea, the drops of the rain and the days of eternity, who can count them? The height of heaven, the breadth of the earth, the abyss and wisdom, who can search them out? Wisdom was created before all things, and prudent understanding from eternity. The root of wisdom, to whom has it been revealed? Her clever devices, who knows them? There is one who is wise, greatly to be feared, sitting upon his throne. The Lord himself created wisdom. He saw her and apportioned her. He poured her out upon all his works. She dwells with all flesh according to his gift, and he supplied her to those who love him. The fear of the Lord is glory and exultation, and gladness and a crown of rejoicing. The fear of the Lord delights the heart and gives gladness and joy and long life. With him who fears the Lord, it will go well at the end. On the day of his death, he will be blessed. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. 
She is created with the faithful in the womb. She made among men an eternal foundation, and among their descendants she will be trusted. To fear the Lord is wisdom's full measure. She satisfies men with her fruits. She fills their whole house with desirable goods and their storehouses with her produce. The fear of the Lord is the crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to flourish. He saw her and apportioned her. He rained down knowledge and discerning comprehension, and he exalted the glory of those who held her fast. To fear the Lord is the root of wisdom, and her branches are long life. To whom was the knowledge of wisdom revealed? The Most High poured her, poured her upon all living things and shout her to those who love him. All wisdom comes from the Lord our God. It was he who created her through his Holy Spirit and showed her to those who love him. A reading from the letter of Pope St. Clement I to the Corinthians. We will entreat the Creator of all things with heartfelt prayer and supplication that the full sum of his elect, as it has been numbered throughout all the world, may ever be preserved intact through his beloved Son, Jesus Christ. He has called us out of darkness to light and from ignorance to the clear knowledge of the glory of his name, to hope in thy name, which is the source and fount of all creation. Open the eyes of our hearts to know thee, who alone art highest amid the highest, and ever abidest holy amidst the holy. Thou dost bring down the haughtiness of the proud, and scatterest the devices of the people. Thou settest up the lowly on high, and the lofty thou dost cast down. Riches and poverty, death and life, are in thine hand. Thou alone art the discerner of every spirit, and the God of all flesh. Thine eyes behold the depths and survey the works of man. Thou art the aid of those in peril, the saviour of them that despair, the creator and overseer of everything that hath breath. By thee the nations of the earth are increased, and from all mankind thou hast chosen out such as love thee through thy dear child Jesus Christ, by whom thou hast taught us and raised us to sanctification and honour. Grant us, O Lord, we beseech thee, thy help and protection. Do thou deliver the afflicted, pity the lowly, raise the fallen, reveal thyself to the needy, heal the sick, and bring home thy wandering people. Feed thou the hungry, ransom the captive, support the weak, comfort the faint-hearted, let all the nations of the earth know that thou art God alone, that Jesus Christ is thy child, and that we are thy people and the sheep of thy pasture. Thou, O Lord, by thine operations, didst bring to light the everlasting fabric of the universe, and didst create the world of men. From generation to generation, thou art faithful, righteous in judgment, wondrous in might and majesty. Wisely hast thou created, prudently hast thou established all things that are. To look around is to see thy goodness. To trust in thee is to know thy loving kindness. O most merciful, O most pitiful, absolve us from our sins and offences, from our errors and our shortcomings. Lay not every sin of thy servants and handmaidens to their charge, but make us clean with the cleansing of thy truth. Direct thou our goings, till we walk in holiness of heart, and our works are good and pleasing in thy sight, and the sight of our rulers. Yes, Lord, show the light of thy countenance in peace upon us for our good, and so shall we be sheltered by thy mighty hand, and saved from all wrongdoing by thine outstretched arm. 
deliver us from such as hate us without a cause. To us and all mankind grant peace and concord, even as thou didst to our forefathers, when they called devoutly upon thee in faith and truth. To thee, who alone canst grant to us these and other yet more excellent benefits, we offer up our praises through Jesus Christ, the High Priest and Guardian of our souls, through, through whom be glory and majesty unto thee, now and for all generations, and unto ages of ages. Amen. What God is great as our God, you are the God who works wonders. You showed your power among the peoples, your strong arm redeemed your people. You are the God who works wonders. Let us pray. In your love, Lord, answer our humble prayer. Give us the grace to see what we have to do and the strength to do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God.